Who wants to go house hunting? How about virtual house hunting? I'm Katherine Davis, your neighborhood realtor, and I am on the MLS system all day long looking at great homes around Jacksonville. I have four homes today to share with you that I think are pretty special. Let's take a look. This first home I call Pretty Views in St. John's. This home is located right around the corner from Julington Creek Elementary and Fruit Cove Middle School, so you're right by the best schools. But I chose this home because I love the natural light. It has a beautiful pond view out the back, and there is a tiled lanai, not to mention gorgeous big windows overlooking the water. This home is at 296 Maplewood Drive. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,513 square feet. It, the asking price is $279,900. And the description says, come see this property before it's gone in a great school district. This home boasts beautiful new granite throughout the home, gorgeous brand new stainless steel appliances, new AC, new faucets and fixtures throughout, new interior and exterior paint. Unwind in the enormous master suite equipped with a double sink vanity and massive soaking tub. This home's split floor plan provides privacy from your guests or children. Enjoy relaxing on the screened in back porch overlooking a pond. This next home I call Mid-Century Mandarin Fun. I chose this house because it's got that fun retro vibe but all updated finishes. It's in the Beauclair area of Mandarin and it is on a cul-de-sac and right down the road from a playground. It is 3428 Chrysler Drive, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,991 square feet, and the asking price is 300,000. The description says, mid-century modern, completely updated, fabulous location, and on a cul-de-sac in desirable Pickwick Park. Your search is over. This three bedroom, two bath home is move in ready. Cook fabulous meals in this open kitchen with stainless steel appliances and still be on the action in the living room. Take a moment to kick back and watch your favorite team, beer in hand and fire crackling, or wander your tree shaded backyard listening to the sounds of summer while you tend to your vegetable garden. The options are endless. Stroll up the street to the beautifully manicured park for endless entertainment, romping around on the playground or tossing the ball with Fido in the open field. This central location to all things Jacksonville is the gem you have been searching for. Love where you live. This home I call the Oak Leaf Home with Everything, and I call it that because it checks off so many items on the list. Outdoor living space with a saltwater pool, separate office, three-car tandem garage, bonus room upstairs, a lot of people's must-haves are here. This home is in the Oak Leaf. It's at 1123 Southern Hills Drive. It's five bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,743 square feet, and the asking price is 484,900. The description says, this is an absolute must see saltwater pool home with three car tandem garage and too many upgrades features to list. The inside features tons of storage, wood floors throughout, wood burning fireplace, tray ceilings, new 2019 water softener, added plug-in generator hookup, upgraded kitchen with double ovens, subway tile, granite countertops, extended buffet cabinetry with large island breakfast bar, and more. Outside you can really entertain with a 15 by 30 salt water pool, extended pavered patio and fire pit, plus an outdoor kitchen featuring built-in gas infrared grill, refrigerator and sink. The fence backyard backs up to a wooded preserve. Home is beautifully staged by dwell staging and design. This next home I call So Spacious in St. John's. I chose this home because it has a great preserved lot and a wide open floor plan. It's recently been updated and I love the choices they pick for their finishes. Very timeless classics. This home is in St. John's County. It's at 559 East Kings College Drive. It's four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 3,046 square feet, and the asking price is 399,750. The description says, this lovely updated home welcomes you the moment you walk through the door. Step into this open floor plan with its formal living room, which could also work as a home office. Formal dining room for those large family gatherings, wonderful kitchen with 42 inch cabinets, workstation, new appliances, eat in area and large center island overlooking the family room with fireplace. From there, step through French doors to your backyard that has plenty of space for a pool and backs up to a preserve for more privacy. 
step back inside to enter your second floor with loft area, perfect for the kids to play. Your owner's retreat with ample closet space with built-ins, sizable owner's bath with dual sinks, separate shower, and gorgeous standalone soaking tub. Three additional comfortable sized bedroom hall bath with dual sinks and downstairs laundry room with washer and dryer complete this wonderful home. With all that, there is still more. Fresh paint, new stainless steel appliances, one new AC, and one that was replaced in 2014. New light fixtures, new carpet, updated baths, and a premium lot when new. Three car garage, and it's located on a cul-de-sac. Make this your new home in the friendly Aberdeen Grand Home Point community with all the amenities and A-rated schools. So what do you think? Did any of them stand out to you? Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. Whichever one gets the most votes, I'll go out and do a private virtual tour for you and share it right here. As always, if there's any here that you are personally interested in and you'd like to take a closer look at, feel free to call, text, or message me. I'm happy to help. I can give you a virtual tour or I am still doing showings. I have a household with no one under 20 and no one over 50, so as long as we're following the CDC guidelines and we do no more than five people, six including myself, and we have to stay six feet away and wash our hands. And I have to tell you, I bring my own soap and towels and I usually wash at the beginning and the end. And you are welcome to borrow my soap. <laughs> Thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.